All right, welcome back. As you know, I'm a big fan of Schlitz. I talk about it all the time. I usually have a Schlitz hat if you see me in public. So I was at Whole Foods the other day and they had Schlitz. Well, in the cart, I've talked about it before. They say it's close to the original recipe, but I'm calling bullshit on it because according to the website, they use Cascade Hops. And Cascade hops weren't around until the 70s. So I don't know. I I was born in 67, so I didn't drink it in the 50s. So I don't know what they use, but I'm assuming this is close to the original recipe. Let's crack open the Schlitz. Now, Ruby bought me this glass last year. There has to be lead in it. This weighs a ton. And it's kind of hard to tell from the camera, but it's yellowing. And we read that a lot of old glasses, they used arsenic in it, and that's what causes the yellowing. So maybe it'll make the beer taste better. You can tell Schlitz looks really good. Good foam here. This smells like a classic old school beer. That's just really good. It has a nice finish. You don't get like the cascade notes to this. It's not like you're getting, it's not like you're drinking a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, but they use cascade. But it does have a nice, like little hoppy finish, not a lot, but you know it's there. Good mouthfeel to it. Yeah, I'm a fan. Like, I would drink this all the time if I could find it. It's hard to find. Once in a while, the Binnie's carries it. So when I saw this at Whole Foods, I had to grab it. I never see it at, you know, your grocery stores or anything like that. I know a couple times I've gone in Binnie's with my Schlitz hat, and the beer rep looks at me. He's like, not today, bro. So if you see it, it's a cheap macro beer, but it's probably my favorite of all the cheap macro beers. So grab me a Schlitz and... Stay away from the arsenic.